Greetings and welcome, friends. Mr. Wadi here. We're uh, taking a look at some unwritten problems. This is like a secret level. This is an Easter egg for section 7.5 in your Big Ideas Algebra book, where we are solving uh, by factoring. We're factoring things, polynomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. And this time I threw an equal sign in there and we're all like, what? And uh, it's going to require us to remember a skill from our previous section. So watch this. Behold and do not fear. Uh, here we go. So n squared minus 10 n n n n plus 22 equals negative 2. If I want to solve this, notice I even gave us a little clue saying use factoring. The first thing I'm going to do is set this equal to 0. Because the only way we knew how to do these was using the zero product property. So n squared minus 10 n plus 24 equals zero. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the left hand side here. All right, I'm going to write this as the product of expressions, things being multiplied. And in order to do so, I'm going to find the factors of 24. So 24, I'm going to have this as my scratch work on the side, uh, breaks down into 1 and 24. Uh, the 2 and a 12, like 3 goes in there, probably like 8 times, and 4, definitely 6, definitely 6. And of these factors, I'm looking for the ones that add to be 10. And I've got a suggestion from the audience that 4, 6 is that pair of factors. Let's Let's find out. 1 and 24 is uh, 23. No, I, I'm adding. Sorry, 25. 2 and 12 is 14. 11 is and 10. So 4 and 6 does appear to be the factors that work. And so now I'm going to write this. I'm, I just, I'm unfoiling it is what I'm doing. So I'll have an n with a 4, an n with a 6. Now, we've had a Definitely, this, this is the challenge, is figuring out the signs of this. And I invite you, feel free to like straight up do some guessing and checking, like try plus and plus, try plus and minus, try minus plus, right? And just kind of mentally think like, okay, would that multiply to be positive 24? Be like, no, that wouldn't. And so the way I do it is a little bit more analytically. I say, okay, these have to multiply to be positive, so their signs are the same. It's either plus plus or minus minus. And they add to be negative, so they've got to be minus minus, because you can't have two positives add to be a negative. So I factored it, I get n minus 4 times n minus 6 equals 0. Now, perhaps you remember the zero product property that said if two things multiply to be 0, one of them must be 0. So I'm going to break this into two cases. Either n minus 4 equals 0 or n minus 6 equals 0. And I'm going to simply solve both of these cases. All of our skills are coming together now. Yeah, all of them. I love it. Right? Just like classic video game design, you go through a level, you fight these different bad guys, and then the boss fight has all of the skills you learned culminated together, giving you this sense of victory. And so I get two solutions to this problem up here. And if I was to do a check, if I plugged in four for all of the ends up here, both of those solutions would work. So there's a lot of work here, yeah. So what did, what did we do? Let me, let me just outline what we did. So I, step one, I set equal to, to zero. There we go. Step two, I factored. And then step three, I used zero product property. Is what we did. All right, so my first step, I was setting it equal to zero. That was easy. Second step is factoring. That's what I did here. And then the third step, I used the zero product property in order to solve. So let's try the same thing on this next problem and I'll build us up towards a trickier one. Let's see, today's like first time in a long time my in real life friends here, they don't have this pre-written down. So if, if they wanna follow along, they can write this down now with perhaps you at home, I imagine, as your 
I don't know, maybe you have a future snow day that you're enjoying and you were like, man, I'm really going to miss math class today. I know, I'll go to Wadi Math and sit in, inside drinking hot cocoa and petting a cat as I'm learning about math. Wow. So, so here you go. Thanks for inviting us into your home on this, this cold, cold day so we can do math together. So uh, step one, let's set this equal to zero. So I've, I've got the suggestion of subtracting 6 from both sides. So I'll have n squared plus 3n. <laughs> and so I set it equal to 0. I like it. All right, now for the C term, for 18, I'm going to find the factors of 18, right? And I'm going to look for the ones that subtract to be 3. So factors... Six. Yep. So which of these subtract to be three? I like it. So let's have our students silently try to factor these. You'll have an n with a three, n with a six, and take the time to guess and check the signs. I'm going to walk around and sip my coffee. Here we go. Okay, so so we had some uh, some guesses and checks, and that's perfectly fine. And that's what you got to then think about: is uh, it, are they going to multiply to that and add to be that? So the way I do it is they multiply to be negative, so it's going to be plus minus or minus plus. And when thinking about that, they also have to add to be positive. So the more influential of them must have been positive. So it's positive 6 and minus 3. But I'm not done yet. Don't forget this is equal to 0. So I'm going to use the zero product property. Break this into two cases. Either n minus 3 equals 0 or n plus 6 equals 0. And let's solve them. Man, remember when we were solving equations like this? Back in the day, the beginning of this year. 50 something days ago of school and now you guys are solving quadratic equations you guys are just all grown up i'm gonna miss you guys when you move out from my algebra class here we go you guys came in here like algebra toddlers and now you're all grown up oh. all right so, uh, right, add 3 to both sides to get rid of the minus 3. You get n equals 3 and n equals negative 6. Uh, tell you what, let, let's just do a check for funsies. I'm, you don't have to write it down, but I'm going to do a check. Let's check the negative 6, because that seems like, I don't know, the most crazy. So if I'm doing a check, I would plug it into both n's, or any n anywhere I find. Anywhere. <laughs> Any, come on, come on. Uh, so let's see, negative six all squared, is that the same, or sorry, blah, blah, blah. negative six all squared plus three times negative six minus 12, is that the same as positive six? So let's see, negative six all squared is 36 minus 18 minus 12. Uh, 36 minus 18 is positive 18 minus 12. And 18 minus 12 is 6. 6 equals 6. Guys, we found a solution of... We found the solution. 
And there's two solutions. Uh, you could check the uh, three on your own time, though. Let's see, last question that I want to look at. All right. Look at this one. This one's crazy. This one's the boss fight of the day. All right. That's scary, isn't it? That looks scary. <sighs> okay, what are you suggesting we do? Or let, yeah, write it down. I'm going to have another sip of coffee, internet friends. Set it equal to zero. Plus 5k squared. Watch this move, guys. Ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two steps at once. I'm adding 3 to both sides, and I'm adding 5k squared to both sides, all in the same line of work. All right? I'm living dangerously today. So yeah, 5k squared minus 4k squared is 1k squared. We can just write that as k squared. Oh, and then minus 3 and plus 3, what does that become? Zero, and it equals to zero. All right, how do I find the factors of zero that add to be negative 8? That's weird. Now, uh, what I want to point out about this, you could try to find the factors of zero... that add to be 8. That's weird, though. Right? Isn't that, isn't that bizarre? Like, if I want to think of my C term as plus 0 here. But we know a different strategy. Maybe you don't remember it, but that's okay. Where I can actually, uh, hey, yoink, uh, hey, yoink. I'm going to steal, I'm going to factor, greatest common factor. I can steal it a K from both of those. No, just a K. A times what in parentheses? Hmm. No? Let's see. So the way when I steal the K out of it, I'm asking now K times what would have given me K squared? K times K. And K times what would have given me negative eight K's. Negative eight. Yeah, which guys, actually, as a side note, just because this is such a bizarre idea, what if I did have it written as k squared minus 8k plus 0, and what if I was trying to find the factors of 0? The factors of 0 are like 1 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0, also uh, 0 and 0, negative 1 and 0, and they would go infinitely in both directions. Uh, so which of those numbers add to be negative 8? It would have been 0 and negative 8. Because negative 8 times 0 works. And so I actually could have factored this to be k with an 8 and k with a 0. Yeah, this is not the way to think about it. I just want to like point out for some of the curious that uh, we could have found the factors of 0 that add to be 8. Uh, and the k, the k would have been, the 8 would have been negative and the 0 would have been positive. And notice, this is actually the same thing as that. Because k plus 0 is k, and k minus 8 is k minus 8. But yeah, we never think about it this way. That is, oh, uh oh, that's the weirdest way to think about it that I've ever seen. But uh, just do the greatest common factor. That's the easier way. And now zero product property. Two things multiply to be zero. So therefore, one of them equals zero. So I get k equals zero. Hey, that's conveniently already solved. Or k minus 8 equals zero. And I'll add 8 to both sides. Mm-hmm. So two solutions to these quadratic equations all right there this is a chart that you do have on in your packets uh which is just kind of like a, a summary the diagram shows the relationships between the sides of b and c 
and the signs of P and Q. Uh, I don't know if that's helpful. I'm going to, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to explain this. I like my explanation better, but here you go. You can look at it anyway. Look at it. Look at it. Are you afraid to look ugliness in the face? Bye, internet friends.